<laughs> right. 130 years ago, the very first HBCU game was played right here in Livingstone College. Well, let's go check it out. This is where HBCU football started. This is it. This is, this is the, the, the home and the birthplace. Where it all started, right here. We're on standing this, on, on the campus of Livingstone College, which is now our front lawn, wow. but is the space where the first black college football game was played. Uh, take us through that, man, because we, we, we've talked about it, we've seen pictures about it, you know, but tell us, I mean, how, how it started, there was even controversy in the game. There's no instant replay, we can't go to the videotape. All right, I'll give you our story. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> December 27th, 1892, Biddle College, which is now Johnson C. Smith University in yep. Livingstone College, played the first collegiate black football game right here on this lawn. Yeah. It was a snowy day, a very defensive matchup. One field goal, one safety. Biddle, Johnson C. Smith was up five to nothing. It's toward the end of the game, they played two 45 minute halves. Livingstone made a good hit. The ball was jarred and it was in the end zone. A Livingstone College player falls on it. We're signaling touchdown. The referees said they couldn't tell because the snow had covered up the markers. The clock runs out and the rest is history. If you ask them, right. they won five to nothing. If you ask us, we won six to five. Right, right. but since we're here, we're here, you prevail. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> That's right. But there's much more to this story. At a time when African-Americans in the South were dealing with the rising tide of race-based violence, football became a salvation. It created a community and a sense of celebration and a tradition that extends to today. 1892, do you think that the people who were playing in this game could have ever imagined that 100-something years later, they'd look at schools like Mississippi, University of Alabama, Georgia, and it would be nothing but black players? Do you think that they, they anticipated that day coming? I would have to believe that that was something that they hoped for. It speaks to their self-reliance. The football that they played with, they came together and they shared their resources. The uniforms were made by the industrial shop right here on the campus. And then they took the pair of shoes that they had, wow. really destroyed them, put nails in them so that they could play football. Wow. They didn't have much, but right. they did so much with so little. That's the story of self-reliance and the story of HBCUs.